Are you making real progress with your English skills? What are the best ways to move forward and put the English that you have into practice in your own context? If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button and invite the bell to be notified whenever I upload new content which will be relevant to you if you are trying to overcome the intermediate plateau and become proficient in English. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tanya Meyer and I am an English as a foreign language teacher to adults. And in this video, we'll be talking about the five main ways of learning or improving your language skills, including the only way I help my own clients. So let's get started. Right. Perhaps the most desirable, although definitely the most challenging way of making progress with a language you're trying to improve is to be a completely autonomous learner. So what does this mean? It means that you have your own systems in place. You know what you need to do. You know where you need to go. You know how to pace yourself. And you're also very aware of what language is made up of and what your particular strengths and weaknesses are. In other words, where your gaps are um, and how to fill those gaps, how to, uh, you know, compensate for any weaknesses. And like I say, you have your own systems that you have implemented elsewhere perhaps, or that really help you keep yourself on track while moving forward without uh, missing a beat. And there are, of course, advantages to this kind of learning. The first of which is that you are completely in control of your progress. You are in the driver's seat. You know where you're going and you know how to get there. So that's absolutely fine. Also, it's probably the way in which you need to make the least investment. Uh, I'm not saying no investment because uh, some people who already know how to move forward might invest in, in some apps, for example, but definitely the least in investment will be if you use this way, not only in terms of finances, but also in terms of um, time and effort, because you have um, a, a system in place, then whatever you do to move forward will probably be um, efficient in, in acquisition and in the possibility of use of the language. The main disadvantages to this way of learning is that most people are not aware of what language is made up of because in our own native language we just speak and we don't really we don't really think about what language is made up of we also don't have systems and and um, strategies in place in order to move forward and we have no particular guide and so that means that we can very easily get lost we don't know where to start and we don't know how to make progress what systems to use these are all things that might take a lot of time and effort to put into place. Okay, the second way of learning or improving your language skills is to be autonomous, but with some kind of guidance, a program or something that you have purchased online that gives you the information you need to move forward, or at least the steps to take or the materials to study. Um, so some kind of syllabus or curriculum. In the old days, you could buy a language in a box. You know, you would order it by mail 
and then you'd receive a series of course books together with the audio material and you would follow the course book and the audios and make progress that way. Nowadays, of course, you can go online and there are several courses that you can take for free and others that you can purchase. So this is fine and many people benefit from this, this way of learning. But the disadvantage, of course, is that you need to be highly disciplined and motivated because you have nobody to rely on but yourself. Basically, once you purchase the program, then you're on your own. So you might ask yourself, well, is this right? Who can give me any feedback? And who can I practice with? The third way to learn or improve your language skills is to enroll as a student at a language center or a teaching center. And registering to an English course gives you exposure to the language because there will be a teacher who will speak in English. And of course, there will be many opportunities for you to practice whatever is being taught because you'll also have classmates, that's a community, to engage with and to practice the grammar structure or the vocabulary of the lesson. The main disadvantage of this way of learning is that, as we know, whatever way you choose is likely to take time. And so over a period of time, being an, uh, a, a student registered at a teaching center is likely to be expensive because you need to register and re-register and so on to, to make progress. Another disadvantage is that you are not in control of what you learn. Whatever it is that's taught during that course that you've registered for is not going to depend on you. It will depend on the organization and the teacher. But of course, it'll be very general. And so the topics might be interesting for you or they might not be. If any of this is resonating with you, click the like button and comment below on what your experience has been as an autonomous learner or if you have ever bought a language in a box or purchased a, a language course online or if you've ever been an enrolled or registered student at a teaching center. What has your experience been? How much progress have you made? To what extent does it satisfy your needs to be learning um, in any of these three ways? Right. The fourth way of learning or improving your language skills is to employ the services of a private teacher or coach. You know, many people think that by employing the services of a private teacher, they will make much more progress with their language skills. But this is only partially true, to be honest, because although the teacher is focusing on just you, just um, the client, the fact is that the volume of work that needs to be done is not reduced by employing a private teacher. And so a teacher can only really answer some doubts, uh, present some grammar points, explain some vocabulary, but the teacher cannot transfer the language. If we make an analogy here, if you, if you think, for example, about learning how to play a musical instrument, say you want to learn to play the guitar, so you employ the services of a private teacher and that teacher will show you the chords, will give you tips and strategies to, you know, coordinate uh, the movements, uh, will, you'll speak about rhythm and, you know, lots of things. But the fact is that if you want to become a proficient guitar player, then you need to practice even when the teacher isn't there. 
you know, you need to be sufficiently engaged, sufficiently interested to pick up that guitar and to really, you know, have a go on your own. And it's something that only you can do. If you want to learn to play the guitar, then you need to, to learn. You know, uh, of course, with guidance is, is always good because you can get feedback and correction and you can make progress that way. But you cannot become a proficient guitar player without putting in the practice time. So it's exactly the same with language. The teacher can guide and help and mentor, but it's the level of engagement that you have with the language and the interest that you have in it and the time uh, that you spend, you know, acquiring it that is really going to make the difference. And of course, one serious disadvantage of employing someone on a private basis is that the more experienced, the more knowledgeable the teacher is, the higher the fees. And another disadvantage is that working one-on-one -on -one in this way doesn't really give the client an opportunity to practice in a more natural community environment, you know, changing partners, speaking with different people. And so it can become quite intense. So what is the next option? What is the fifth and final option? Well, it's a hybrid system where you combine several of the previous ways that I've just talked about. And this is my business model, the one that I have found after trial and error and working as a language teacher for many years, the one that I have found most efficient and effective for everyone. A hybrid system is a win-win for the teacher and for the client. Why? Well, in my program, Confident English Training, I combine being an autonomous learner with guidance, so there is a curriculum, with some of the elements of being part of a teaching center because there is a private community, and the fourth aspect, which is having a private coach. So that means that you work one on one with me. There are live coaching calls within the program. So when it comes to being part of a community, then you don't only rely on the teacher. You have a group of people that you can interact with in English. You can also ask questions. You can share things and just be part of a group. And that is a huge source of support. As far as the coaching calls are concerned, they are weekly and they are based on your needs rather than the materials that I choose. It is you who chooses the materials based on what you need. Let's give you an example. Are you writing your CV or rewriting your CV? Are you applying for a job? Do you want to live abroad? Are you applying for a scholarship? Are you going to take an exam? Do you have difficulty interacting with your English speaking colleagues at work? Whatever your English situation is, you bring it to the live coaching call and we work on it together. So as you can see, my program delivers on all aspects of language learning, conducing to real autonomy, but at the same time knowing that I've got your back and that whatever your context, you'll have me as your English coach. If you're struggling or feel stuck or anxious about your English at all, then I would love to help. I'm going to leave all of these links in the description box below, so do take a look. The first one will be for you to download your own copy of my free guide, Eight Steps to Revolutionize Your English, which is packed with ideas and suggestions for you to put into practice straight away to make real progress with your English. I'm also going to leave a link for you to join my free masterclass 
So take a look at that. It'll give you a little glimpse into what my program is all about, including a couple of aspects that we don't really talk about that often, but make a huge difference when it comes to implementing language and, and using it in real life situations. And finally, check out my website especially the overview page, which tells you more about the program. And if you're ready, why not just pick a day and time that suits you and book a call to speak with me? Yes, I am a real person. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And I look forward to seeing you very soon.